What's happening everybody, this is Hayden Adams. A lot of my clients ask me, how do I get my website to be on Google Search? And Google makes a fantastic tool called the Google Search Console. We can find that by Googling Google Search Console. And the power of Google should bring it up towards the top, if not the top of the page. In there, I'm gonna click on Google Search Console Tools. Now, by default, if you've never used the Google Search Console, it'll just say Start Now. And what will pop up is select property type by default if you have not entered ever in information before into the Google Search Console. Now in this case, I'm gonna type a random domain name. You're gonna use domain over URL prefix most of the time unless you have a specific reason to focus on one extension of your domain name. In this case, I'm gonna say random domain name.com. Don't own that domain name, I probably should one of these days. But like this, going to verify the ownership of the domain name. I don't have the access to this domain name, but if I did, what I would do is any DNS provider, I can then simply copy this little string of information. So I would say copy it, and it does give me access to GoDaddy if I want to use it. I can connect the start verification, or if I use any other provider, I can just copy this into my domain information with a text record and hit verify. Since I don't own this domain name, it's gonna give me one big error message. But if I did, it would be a green box that says you are verified. Let's take a look and see what happens as if we are verified. So over here, let me cancel this. I have a brand new website called Audio Access that I just launched a few weeks ago. So in here in performance, it'll start telling me more about the actual website. This is telling me the Google search results going on. I'm gonna come back to this, but what I wanna focus on first and foremost is making sure you connect your Google, to your, your Google, your website's sitemap to Google. That's what I was trying to say. So a sitemap generally ends in .xml, and these XML files look like this. They're boring, they're old, but they are super useful. This tells Google every single page that I have on my website. So what I would do is with this sitemap, and in Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, they all have sitemaps you can use in .xml files. If I copy this, and I paste this right here and say submit, it'll come down to submitted sitemaps. I've done this before, I submitted this a few days ago on June 16th, and it says status success. That's awesome, the success of the 10 pages that it found. All of these from the home page down to the signup page. And in here, it's serving up traffic. Now it is a brand new site and I did move domain names around, so excuse the mess that I had right here, but I moved the domain names around last week and sure enough, about yesterday, it's starting to serve up the data from Wednesday, June 18th. Awesome. Now this performance might not show up right as you verify. It does take a couple days to kind of kick into gear, but don't worry, Google's still measuring all of your traffic and it tells you some really great things. One, it tells you how many clicks you got from Google. Two, it tells you how many impressions you received from Google, as in how many times did someone search for a phrase or a topic and your website came up. The average click-through rate, or CTR, I'm not worried about this right now, and the average position showing up within Google. Are you one or are you 100? Again, I'm not really worried about the average position at this point in time because I'm a brand new website. It'll take time and it'll eventually grow and this number should go down over time. Now again, we're focusing on impressions and the funny part is on this part, the I made an example and the example are my use studies or my example files and I picked this one Chardonnay and apparently that's my second most searched topic that is coming up. Just makes me laugh, it'll eventually fade away, but for right now, it's just kind of a comical sense to me. But again, what's the most impressions is the accessible audio guide, which is audio access guide. So that's what I'm looking for, and that's what's serving up. It also gives me pages to look at and say, what are my impressions versus clicks to each page? It breaks down by country, device, once I have more data, the search appearance, and you can go day by day. Now to verify that my page was found, I can also go to URL inspection, and I've already typed this before, so I'll double check it. 
and I can retrieve Google site data on my homepage, which is audioaccessguide.com. It gives me all green check marks, which is fantastic. Page is indexed, we're looking great, and it even tells me when the last crawl was. Google last came across my website in this homepage on June 19th at 9.11, 44 seconds at night, and it found it, and it fetched it, and it indexed it. Awesome, Google, do your thing. So between your sitemaps, your pages, the URL inspection and performance, this will tell you everything you want to know about how Google is viewing your website based upon Google Search Console and the traffic. 